What is up, everybody? It's me, Duke Farley, back at it again here on Lost at Sea, and I am joined this evening by Sam. And Sam, what a finale! What a finale! I'm I'm still very much riding the high of whatever that gave me because it gave me life. <laughs> so many good speeches, so many good moments. Marcelo did a split at the end. I mean, it was crazy. But let's 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 unpack this um, from yeah. the from the get go. Obviously, we have um, the last competition um, between AJ and Taylor, uh, where we see all the jurors come out, and it's kind of like you, you got to know what the jurors thinking. You get two options. Anything surprising or stand out in that competition to you at all? Um, in terms of, I guess, the prompts or the people's um, res- the people's answers. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, I wish I, I I I took I took some notes, but I wish I would have taken better notes on that in particular because there was one question, and of course, it escapes me now which one it was. Um. There were, okay, so there were a few that were like, okay, no, I feel like the answer to that is like obvious. And so like, I was like playing along, right? And so it was like, okay, that was fine. Like though, that's what I would have expected. Um, But there were a few where, specifically where like they answered differently. Um, One of those in there. And I don't remember if you, if you, I don't know if you remember which one those were, but like, I was just like, oh, that one was kind of obvious to me. I'm surprised it wasn't obvious to like that person, like me as a viewer who literally sees everything, but you know what I mean. (laughs) There were two that stood out to me, Sam. Um, I'm not sure if either answered um, differently, but just the question and the juror's response. I don't know who got it right or who got it wrong. Um, And the one being which it was brought up um, post this um, competition by Marcelo, but the one being whose game did Ozzy respect the most, um, which was AJ. And I was like, yikes, because if AJ doesn't win this, that is not going to spell good for him. Um, And the other one being CJ's question, where he was asked, who was he most betrayed by and he said kira and i found that very puzzling um just because Mm -hmm. it seemed like you know the game cj turned his back on on kira so i was surprised that that was his response but um did you have something you wanted to say about ozzy's question no you you brought up the one so like the one that I was like oh that seems obvious to me like that AJ was the correct answer I believe both of them answered correctly for that one um and then the one that was puzzling to me as well was the other one that you brought up was like I 100 I got that one wrong as a viewer (laughs) yeah like playing Um, along for sure yeah I think I think AJ did get that one wrong as well. Um, and the game, that competition ended early because I think Taylor had pulled away pretty quickly. Um, yeah. And she ultimately wins that competition. And then we get the final pleas from AJ and Marcelo. Um, did you think there was any way that AJ was getting out of that? I, I really didn't think so. I think just seeing how... Taylor approached the game um I could I could really see that you know when it came down to it like Taylor was always going to make the best soundest game decision for her game and like you know always seeing they're gonna make the best decision uh what's gonna move her forward in the game um and why would it be any different here at this point at the end when it's like the most important time um it when it it's it's head over heart I feel like Taylor's always gonna go you know head this is what's more likely or most likely gonna get me a win I have a better shot here I wasn't surprised being completely results oriented I know this is so like fresh right now but do you think Knowing how Marcella was able to make back-to-back really great speeches, really emotional and personal answers that won a majority of the jury over um, his way in this finale, um, 
questioning period. Do you think being results oriented, do you think the right move was to take AJ for Taylor? It's tough to tell because you don't know. It really, really is, honestly. Um, because how could you plan for uh, the, I think it was even mentioned in, in one of the confessionals, um, like kind of leading up to it was, um, you can see, like, you, with the information that you have, you can see, like, the game that AJ's played and the game that Marcelo's played, and you know what you've done and how you can argue your point. Um, but, you know, having not known Marcelo outside of this game, um, Taylor really didn't have that last piece of information of, like, who's going to be able to speak that, like, best to that jury and, like, you know, just that that element that you can't plan for. So, it's honestly, it's really hard to say. I think it, I think it was a close call either way. Yeah. I don't know. I, and, I don't and, know. and obviously we don't even know what AJ's speech uh, ability is. Um, he could yeah. have put on just as good of, the, of a performance, but uh, it seemed to me like that was going to be the obvious decision for Taylor, just knowing how up out front AJ was with competitions winning back in. I just question, you know, would that have been the best route because their games were so different, whereas hers and Marcella's were so similar. Um, and would mm -hmm. AJ have had more trouble because he had been voted out? Would jurors take that into account? But that's just an alternate reality. We don't even, we won't know that. Yeah. We'll never, um, know. we'll never know but aj is the last person to go to the jury shout out to aj great another great see a great season from him absolutely dominating the competitions the best i think somebody said it during the jury round table which i will we'll touch on but the best competition player this this um series has ever seen statistically the guy's built different um and i'm sure that you were happy to have him on your draft team this season Oh, absolutely. Just raking in, raking in all, all kinds of points for me. Um, you know, even like getting voted out, I think up until that point, like still was, I don't know, was great for my draft team, but then winning the battle back and then everything after that, like what, uh, what a fun like ride it was to like follow AJ's game. Um, throughout this season and like yeah you just you keep seeing me like him pulling out these comp wins like time after time after time and it's like like what like where does it stop you know like you, you kind of you just at that point it's like it's either like is the AJ's gonna take it all the way because of these comp wins or there is there gonna be a moment where there's that one chance and and it's so it, it's over and there it was the it was the one chance and it was over, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but yes, AJ, uh, such a fun character this season. We then get a little glimpse mm -hmm. into the jury, and I love this every season. Nicole comes out, you know, with the sparkly blue dress and addresses the jurors. And mm -hmm. I gotta say, this jury was so great, I thought, so open-minded. Um so willing to just kind of hear each other out um nobody was shouting over one another nobody was um making it about them i thought this this jury was honestly the perfect jury for for finalists right i agree i think yeah like although you could see some people had um kind of an idea yeah like an idea of like you know, but they were like almost aware of their biases and that like, okay, I played the game more with this person. So I know more of their game, but are they are open-minded to like, if the other person, like, I, I, you know, anyways, um, can show me like these things, then yeah, absolutely. I'm open to it. Um, and yeah, you could tell in everybody sharing their differing opinions um, that, it was just a very like open, productive discussion. And what I really appreciated about this jury is by the end of the round table, um, they had a very clear idea of what they were looking for in their winner. And I think being able to all get on the same page, while it's not like necessary by any means, like, you know, as, as a juror, 
it you earned your the right to do whatever the heck it is that you want to do with that vote of yours right there's no wrong or right way to be a juror in my eyes um but seeing them all be so willing to um keep an open mind and but also know what they're looking for um it was just really great to see especially with two games that are so similar yeah like um I t- I agree. Uh, you mentioned biases. The the only one, the only person that I felt like, um, and this isn't a knock towards the juror, but I thought that every time that somebody was giving a point, like kind of like egging on, not egging on, but um, really, either hyping up Marcelo or um or trying to hype no trying to hype up Taylor I felt like Sarah was very team Marcelo and was very much like um but Marcelo did this and then you know kind of like I I just felt like her vote was very much locked in on Marcelo and she was trying to you know be as as open-minded as she could to everybody but also kind of like sway like the people to try to vote for Marcelo that was the only one that I felt like was really like that I could pick up on but everybody else I felt like was very um malleable Mm -hmm. yeah the um I had kind of made a a check mark list of like all of the jurors and just listening to the round table which ones like based on what they were saying who's gonna vote where and like by the end of it I had uh, a check mark for Marcelo for Sarah because <laughs> um, I, I definitely got that vibe the only thing was Sarah had said they're going to need to own their lies like like they kind of all echoed that same sentiment but they're going to need to own their shit um, and I was like that might just be Marcelo's downfall but I, I felt like Marcelo had read the jury enough knew his jury well enough to know that he was going to have to do that and ultimately we see that happen so I I kind of felt the same I was like that's the like, only bad thing that I heard Sarah say about Marcelo is like if he just doesn't own you know all of the <laughs> all of the many yeah. final twos and, and whatnot that had gone on um and yeah and like I I also thought that AJ could potentially go in um like riding for Taylor, um, you know, it's it's hard to separate yourself from like that person that you played really played the game hard with. But at the end of the day, I think the three of them, their games intersected so much that it's not just necessarily a given that that it's gonna go that way. Um, and I, th- I think just like like the 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 vibe of this jury here, they all they just really heard both people out, and yeah. They really did. And I think another thing that was brought up during the round table was, you know, he lost his voice, but Rory was trying <laughs> to express how they had to really, um, you know, show the passion, show the fire. And I thought that that was the ultimate um, deciding factor, I felt like, between the two. Not to say that Taylor didn't, I just thought that Marcelo his a couple of times like there was a moment where he teared up and i think it the camera glances at the juror and there was jurors tearing up and i was like oh my god yeah. he's got these he's got these people he's got <laughs> he's got these votes you know yeah yeah no marcelo really brought that energy that like you know it, it's hard to bring to 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 bring that out of yourself when like it's not necessarily what like the mood calls for right everybody's sitting quietly listening so like to get up and just like be passionate like it's hard to to bring that the energy there when that's not really the vibe right um but I think Marcelo just hit on so many points that we heard during the um jury roundtable of what they needed and wanted to see from the person they were casting their vote for and you know you could just tell in the way that Marcelo was conveying uh, his points and his answers that like there's just something tangible about how bad he wanted it that I think was mi- like missing from Taylor's side of, of things you know because on a game level 
I, I really can't knock either of their games. Like they, yeah. they play, both played amazing games, but you know, when you're voting between very similar, amazing games, yeah, the person that wants it more and you just really feel it. Um, I, I think that needs to come across really strongly. And Marcelo did such a good job with that. Um, there were a couple of things that there was a, there was a point where um, in the jury round table, people wanted uh, Marcelo to own, I think CJ mentioned it. He wanted Marcelo to own up to his lying. And mm -hmm. I think in his closing speech, he directly says, you know, I'm owning up to being the snake. And then he has this brilliant line of referring to himself as the snake and comparing it to the hierarchy competition. And I think Ozzy mentions it in his voting confessional when he's voting for Marcelo. He thought that that was brilliant. I thought that was a brilliant thing. He was able to count all nine jurors, the win condition. Um, it was, it was just a, it was a great moment for Marcelo. I felt like. Mm -hmm. I agree. And another thing that Marcelo did really well in his opening speech was um, he, he took a moment to address each and every juror and, and, like pull something out of whatever the experience that they had playing this game together to just a quick little like primer to like, I can't wait to hear all of like your questions and hear from everybody, but like also like I, I'm thinking of each and every one of you and here's why. Like it yeah. was um, to so to kind of have that at both like the beginning and, and the end. Um, I think Marcelo had a really special way of making like every single juror feel heard. And then sprinkling on a little extra for the ones that maybe needed to feel heard even more. Like it was just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm like, I'm taking notes. I'm like, holy crap, that was so good. <laughs> it was a brilliant performance for sure. Yeah, I, I think that's a great for like these final speeches. The jurors ultimately want to hear their names, I feel like a lot of the time. So he was able to sprinkle that in, like you said, and he didn't make it like robotic or like... Um, I specifically prepared this portion. This is why I'm talking about you here. You know, it, it was kind of mm -hmm. just a little something, a little something. So yeah. you, you, you could wet the beak of everybody, you know? Yeah, no, it was very, it was very organic and very, um, um, I don't know, a word that I can't think of right now, but yeah, I think organic is great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and the other thing about the, um, the best question I think of the night was cj i thought he it's like marcelo one word answer who were you most I, when i was talking about being a snake i was referring to you who were you most trust like who was your number one who are you bringing to the end and marcelo just follows the rules says the one name says rocky and that's that seemed to you know <laughs> calm whatever CJ's energy was down at that point <laughs> ultimately didn't get CJ's vote CJ did mention about really like he almost does vote for um, Marcelo in his confessional but any uh, any of the other questions from the jurors stand out to you or do you want to talk about um before but yeah before I, we talk about that just back to CJ's vote so ultimately decides no I'm giving Taylor my vote because Taylor made me eat my words I didn't catch like what like what that situation was did you catch what that what like what that was about I have no idea I okay I, CJ really puzzled me this episode with his <laughs> his, um, <laughs> his juror question his the final competition question and even thinking back at the exit interview I can't really like under i can't make sense of it really at all um okay so i have yeah, no answer I was like, I was like, well, what's, what was that about okay what, um, he said what did he say he said um Ta taylor really made me eat my words this season and for, for what yeah he's like um like people like like i almost never eat my words and taylor made me eat my words but then it was like i even rewound it to see if I could like catch what he said, but it was kind of like mumbled or like unclear. There was yeah. like a little bit more to it. Um, but then I just eventually just moved on. So I was like, eat your words for what? Like what? It's like, because CJ, you didn't even ask Taylor a question. You only asked mm -hmm. Marcelo. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but yeah, 
But yeah, in terms of like other jurors questions, um, no, I, nothing's like really like standing out to me now. Mostly because I can't remember them. <laughs> there wasn't much, much talk really about specific like game moves. There was one that was brought up, like what was the biggest time you took a risk? Um, what was the biggest like driving vote that you drove? And I thought it was interesting that Taylor answers the question first and she says the vote where Sarah goes home, she felt like she was the biggest driving force because in speaking to Rocky um, last night, it seemed like, and even in, I think maybe in the jury round table, it seemed like he was saying that him and Marcella were kind of the people that came up with that and then clued in uh, Taylor. So I was surprised that there wasn't a rebuttal by Marcello on that because I felt like, you know, not that she was taking full credit of it, but it seemed like she was kind of trying to own that that move. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even mention that during his his portion. He mentioned yeah. Josh. Yeah, I. now that you say that, though, I don't know if you saw during the live while we were all watching in the YouTube chat, um, Taylor actually said, I should have said Kiara there instead right. of. Um, so maybe it was you know, just in, you're in the moment, you're just not thinking straight, you're just saying the first thing that comes to your mind, but, like, if you had a few more moments to think about it, that, like, that's probably not, I think she knew that wasn't the optimal answer, but yeah. maybe it's a case of that. And Kind of crazy that Kira's vote wasn't brought up more, right? I feel like that was a huge move by yeah. both of them. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I, I agree. And, um, you know, just to speak on maybe Marcelo not bringing it up, you know, Marcelo just had such a strong performance, um, you know, in that finale that maybe it just wasn't worth it, you know, just wasn't worth kind of the back and forth or maybe opening that can of worms, like, you know, and it was just like, I'll let this one go. <laughs> she can have it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it was just uh, can't. Say, I mean, Taylor played a fantastic game going into this. I was oh, actually talking yeah. to um, Edmund before the episode, and I had thought that I did like a little prediction, and I thought that Taylor would win the final, cut AJ, and then I thought that she would win the game seven to two, and I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah my prediction going in um if taylor won what like you know and got to cut somebody was cutting aj um but i thought i couldn't quite decide i was like i think i think taylor's got this but i think it's going to be really close yeah um but yeah no this was uh so what a great finale Fantastic finale. Can't give Marcelo more, um, you know, give him his flowers. He, you know, two or three really, really huge personal moments um, that I think really drove the nail home and, and got, got the seven votes. Were you surprised at all with the um, CJ and Ali were the only two, two to vote for Taylor? Were you surprised they, they went that direction or, uh, not not really um with ollie i think that it wasn't really a surprise but just because i feel like i have a little bit less insight into you know like ollie as a juror and all these like good connections in the game and kind of what like I, don't, I didn't really know where ollie's head was at and like to kind of like going into it so i didn't really have i didn't think you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then with CJ, um, I, I I was expecting CJ to vote Marcelo. If I if I had to guess, I would have get I would have guessed it went the other way. But you know, CJ seemed to have his reasons, the reasons I don't understand yet that you know I'm very curious about. I got follow up questions. What was that? <laughs> we all have the follow up questions. I'm sure those will get answered throughout the rest, maybe this week. Um, yeah. And I'm also super excited to have the opportunity to talk to the three 
that made it to the finale, AJ, um, Taylor, and Marcella. So hopefully I can get those exit interviews out as soon as possible whenever they have scheduled. We can schedule those. Um, but Sam, it's been another fantastic season. You definitely destroyed the draft. You had two oh my gosh. final, um, one, the winner, and you had, you know, the comp beast of the season. Um, so congratulations to you on that. Thank you. <laughs> my draft team did me very proud. <laughs> yes. Um, but final thoughts on the season as a whole? Um, it was just a really fun story to follow along with. I think, you know, this cast just really brought it and they came to play hard. And, you know, I, Rory, Rory said like he came in wearing his heart on his sleeve. I think much of the cast could probably say that, you know, to a certain extent. Um, and, you know, when when people come together and are able to just be their authentic self, um, like just, I don't know, magic happens. And I think just Descendants creates this environment where you feel free enough to do that within the confines of playing a game of course um and it just made for really really great television all around um and yeah i just like congratulations to like the whole ascendance live team like what an amazing season like all around it was just as a viewer i enjoyed the i enjoyed it from start to finish um but to finish on such a high note has just made this season like even more memorable Yes, I can't agree more. Um, do you think this is the best season of Sense Live? It's my favorite so far. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, th I think so, too. I think this yeah. is my favorite. Um, it had everything. It had the fight. It had um, the drama. It had mm -hmm. the gameplay, the under-the-radar play, the comp beasts, the snakes. What more could you yeah. ask for? Right? doesn't get better than that. Where Season do you four think... has, uh, has a lot to, what to live up to. <laughs> a lot to live up to. Dueling duos, um, I believe they are starting to film soon. Um, mm -hmm. So excited about that. Where do you think Marcelo stacks up in the winner circle? Do you think we got Edmund from season one? five to four vote we got drew almost unanimous eight to one and now we have marcello seven to two where would you rank if you could rank those three where would you rank each of them one two oh three. my goodness put me on the spot here i would oh that's a tough one they all play such different games such different games yeah um, oh, okay. So I think there's like just personal preference and bias coming in here, which is also based on, I watched one a lot more closely than I watched two. So I don't know Drew's game as well, except that Drew had a lot of powers. Oh, he did. A lot of powers, right? Take that aspect away. I don't know, but I didn't watch close enough to see so I'm going Marcelo is my number one winner Edmund is my number two winner and Drew I'm sorry you're my number three winner but I love you <laughs> I think it's super close between Marcelo and Edmund as well for number one for me just because I feel like Edmund had more uh, obviously he had a an alliance here that kind of ran that game pretty much from you know jury on but i do think edmund had a little bit more control over the narrative than marcelo but i do mm -hmm. think marcelo had much better not jury management but a much better jury speech and ability to, to deliver a speech and you know connect to his his jury but um yeah. also two different juries in, in those seasons as well so that's kind of tough to fall mm -hmm. edmund on um, and then Drew Beans, I mean, Jesus, how many penances does this guy have to have before he wins the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's it's impressive in its own right, honestly. Complete, completely different. Um, not yeah. yeah. Drew's probably like like maybe two A. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Um 
but yeah, Sam, appreciate you coming on the podcast as always. It's been fun covering the season um, and getting to talk to you about it. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I I love chatting about Ascendance anytime. <laughs> Alrighty.